Increasing clouds today with the high around 76 degrees. Welcome back to the Morning Drill. 823 is our time. Joining us this morning is Deanna Oles from Blooming Valley Landscape and Supply. Good morning, Deanna. How are you today? Good morning. Good. How are you? Good. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, before we talk about the big event uh, that's coming up here, let's uh, learn more about yourself. Oh, gosh. Put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, got, uh, I'm Deanna Oles. I'm owner of Blooming Valley Landscape and Supply, um, right in Blooming Valley on Route 77. Um, we have a... We have been in the business since 2001 um, and we are a full service company we do landscape installation uh, maintenance we also do um, we also have a retail store where we can sell to uh, wholesale customers as well as the general public and we have all sorts of things everything landscaping we have a huge selection of pottery and um, every kind of landscaping product that you could possibly imagine mulch topsoil right down to the little stone, decorative stones and bird baths and things. You Sounds like in. a one-stop shop. It is, yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's really grown over the last uh, number of years. Yeah. How did it start? Um, oh, gosh. Well, the, um, the landscaping business itself started with my husband, Jason. Um, when he was just a kid, he would just mow lawns. His dad would take him around and um, just mow lawns for money when he was about 12, probably. Um, he grew up on the tractors and stuff, um, farm boy. So when he was about 17, he had earned enough money doing that to buy his own dump truck, Um, just an old dump truck, and fixed it up. He spent his weekends and nights fixing it up and um, ended up being able to get it into working condition where he could actually do major landscaping jobs. Not major, you know, he's 17, and just stuff to start out with, just little retaining walls and little patios, sent himself to certification programs, schools, educated himself as much as he possibly could through that sort of thing. And um, he was able to, every little bit of money that he earned from doing those small jobs, um, put it back into the business and one by one would buy, you know, a nicer truck or a piece of equipment that he needed. Um, So he put every dime back into the company and um, it started off as Jason Olds Landscaping. um, And then we changed the name. I joined the business in 2007. Well, 2006 unofficially, uh, but 2007. And then we just decided to put our minds together and really grow the company and um, took off from there. You know, gained a a staff. We have almost 30 employees now. Wow. um, And it's just grown. And we built the building uh, in 2010, I believe. Maybe it was 2012. Don't quote me on that one. (laughs) But, yeah, we've got, you know, quite And that's right in Blooming Valley. So anybody taking 77 uh, to Meadville from Titusville is going to drive right past it. Yep. Yep. So congratulations. I mean, it's been a lot of fun to see the the growth and and the excitement. And 30 people employed by you guys. That's incredible. Yeah, we have a good time. And we have an excellent staff right now. I can't say enough about our staff. We're super busy right now. And uh, the guys and, and the girls that are working right now with us are amazing. So we're just very thankful for the staff that we have. I am pretty good at growing weeds. So if uh, <laughs> I, sh- I should probably take advantage of just knowing you guys, just call and say, listen, I, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for people that have a black thumb? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's probably me. <laughs> that's probably me. This is why I don't actually work in the field. <laughs> I, I work with the marketing and the behind the scenes office stuff. Everyone always asks me, you know, the random landscaping questions. And I'm like, well, let me refer you to Talk Jason to or Wes. Or Mitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, uh, you guys uh, not only have a strong work ethic, but you also really try to do a lot for the community. And that we can kind of get into this event, the Pink Days in Bloom. Kind of uh, talk about this event. Yeah, um, it's a lot of fun. I really um, get excited about stuff like this. This event, Pink Days in Bloom, is um, it's going to benefit the Breast Cancer Research Foundation as well as the Yolanda G. Barco Oncology Institution. So it's going right to a local charity as well as the Breast Cancer Foundation. Um, And I'm just really excited because it started off just an idea, you know, let's have an open house kind of thing. And then we were like, well, let's make it bigger. And well, let's make it a three-day event. And so now it's a three-day event and it's, we have four bands that will be playing Um, We have the Justin Moyer group on Thursday. Uh, Friday, June 20th will be Necessary Experience. Uh, Shades of Brown on Saturday, June 21st. And also Emo and the Palookas on Saturday, June 21st. 
Um, we also have hands-on demonstrations. Thursday is our big one. That's our build upon with our expert installer, Mark. Mark Schaefer, he's been with us um, from you know the very beginning and he is amazing with the ponds and waterfalls. And so he will be leading this hands-on demonstrations where folks can come in and learn how to build the waterfalls and ponds and stuff that they see us oh, at the wow. Crawford County Fair, stuff like that. And um, they can just learn hands-on how to do that and step-by-step step and ask him questions and it'll be fun, get dirty. And, and that's uh, build a <laughs> pond, Mark, not build a bear. Okay, <laughs> yeah. got it, all right. <laughs> Um, there's also other demonstrations. There's mulching and plant placement. Uh, Mitch will be leading that one. We have uh, Alliance Gator, which is one of our suppliers for sealer products, and uh, they'll be doing sealer uh, paver sealer demonstration. And our very own Wes McWilliams will be doing a demonstration on pruning techniques. So that'll be fun to kind of get hands-on experience and and kind of learn a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, uh, it's, it's fun to watch you guys at the Crawford County Fair, as you mentioned, because uh, the display is just amazing. And it seems like you guys spend the entire year <laughs> setting that up <laughs> because it's so cool looking. We have fun with it. But it's a chance for people to come in and actually get some hands-on experience and actually see yeah. how to do some things. Yeah. Um, so to kind of tie that into this event is makes it a lot of fun for folks yeah a lot of people always have a lot of questions and that you know we get a lot of do-it-yourselfers that come in our store and we thought you know we had actually been to a build a pond event with our um our uh geez no better better word for it our supplier for um products which is aquascape for our waterfall products and that's how we learned how to build um the waterfalls and ponds back in Gosh, I want to say it was like 2006. So that was a fun experience for us. We actually met the pond guy and, and got to do hands-on pond with about 30 other people with a shovel and dug it all, hand dug out the pond and just build it in a couple hours. So we'll see. This one's going to probably take a little bit longer. It's going to take all day, I'm assuming, because there's not going to be um, 30 expert installers helping right. out. It's going to be, you know, 30 general public people that haven't no, really little or no experience doing this. So, but it should be, it should be fun. You mentioned some of the, uh, the bands performing, but there's a lot of other entertainment, balloons and magic there shows. It is, Yeah. And, um, let's see here. We have balloons and a magic show by Steve. He's magic Steve. I don't know if anybody has ever, um, if anybody has ever had the experience of knowing him or, or seeing him, he's amazing with the crowd. He really gets your attention. He's funny. Um, his magic shows are just very entertaining, and his balloon sculptures are out of this world. I, I don't even know. Like, he was at our Mother's Day in Bloom, in Bloom event, and he was just doing, like, crazy, like, hats and working bow and arrows and <laughs> wow. like, gigantic wow. sculptures, and it was just really, really neat. We wow. also have Squeeze the Clown. She's going to be doing face painting with us. And we have a huge silent auction, which we're still looking for um, donations for to help uh, raise money for the event. And uh, vendors will also be set up for shopping and, and craft vendors and things like that. Um, and I can't forget our speakers. We have our featured speaker, who is Sue Kilburn. She is a cancer educator at the Yolanda G. Barco Oncology Institute, as well as a survivor herself. So she has an amazing story to tell, and um, we look forward to hearing her talk. We also have four other speakers. We have Scott Solander. He is a certified arborist from the Penn State Cooperative Extension. He's going to be talking about tri tips on tree landscapes and surviving your landscape construction. <laughs> uh, then we also have some more uh, health-based speakers. We have Leslie Blake, plant-based nutrition um, for better health, and that will be on Saturday, June 21st at 11. Lisa Pustelic is a motivational speaker. Uh, she has actually been trained with the Bob Proctor uh, organization, so she will be talking on Saturday, June 21st at 10, and her um, speech is titled, Bloom Where You're Planted. So if, you, <laughs> if anybody's ever known her, she's amazing too. Um, and just the wealth of knowledge with Leslie Blake on, on plant-based nutrition is just amazing. Uh, and also we have Melissa Dangler. She is a naturopathic doctor in Meadville with Vitality Natural Health and Wellness Center. And she is going to be speaking on creating healthy habits starting off in the right direction. And that's on Saturday at 1. The only one that's on uh, Friday is Scott Solander, and he is on uh, the 20th at 1 o'clock. So. Now this event is Thursday through Saturday, June 19th, 20th, and 21st, and it's yes. going to run 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, it will be held at uh, Blooming Valley Landscape and Supply. So folks can go there and just yes. have a good time and learn. And there 
is um, a link that you can go to pre-register. We are taking a donation admission, which that could be anywhere from a dollar to whatever you would like to, to give. So that the entire donation will go straight towards the cause. Um, and we have a suggested donation of $10 a person, or I believe, let's see here, $20 a family, and that would be for the day. Um, if you want to do the three days, it's $25 a person for all three days, or $35 for family. Now, that's just suggested, so it's whatever you would like to do, and you can make this donation when you come in, or you can, if you pre-register, you can pre-register and get entered into a drawing to win a beautiful Campbell's Pottery Vase, which they have uh, graciously donated for the event. Um, there's a picture of it on our flyers and on the commercial that we've been airing, and um, for that, you go to www.bvlas.com slash pinkdays, and um, you can be entered to win. You just tell us what days you want to come. We're interested in knowing what, you're, what you are interested in actually um, participating in, so that will be helpful to us. And one more thing before, <laughs> there's also t-shirts for sale, and the, all proceeds from the t-shirts will also go towards the donation, and we are also donating a percentage of our uh, plant sales for the day. We'll have some special oh, wow. Invincible hydrangeas that we don't normally have that are uh, the official breast cancer awareness plant, so lots uh, of stuff. <laughs> you know, uh, Mark, you and I have been talking the last couple of weeks. Um, I would think that most people know somebody or has a relative or a loved one who has had a battle with cancer. It, it has to touch almost everybody out there. Um, so to, to get involved in an event like this is very important. It is. Uh, the, um, I think one of the things that you mentioned that was probably most striking is just the funds from this are going to stay local. They're not yes. going out of the area, is that right? Right. Um, at least half, the Yolanda G. Barco all goes, goes to our local Meadville uh, Oncology Institute. Mm -hmm. Now, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation obviously is a larger foundation, right. but we wanted to also incorporate that. That was also very important to us. So there's a local aspect to yes, this, and absolutely. that's important for folks to know who are here in the area. So many times you donate to something and it just it goes yeah. somewhere. Yeah. It's going to be here. Uh, at least part of this is, is local, and that's good to know. Yeah, yeah. we wanted to make sure to do that. Um, that was very important to us. Um, I've had a lot of help on this event with uh, Stern Marketing, Cool 101. The guys from Cool Art have just been helping us a lot. And um, just everybody kind of, we all came together with some ideas, and, and that was uh, one of Dave Hanahan's and Joe Vilke's ideas was to do the Oncology Institute. Well, we're event. certainly you know happy to help you get the word yeah. out on that. Thank Wish you. you much success with it. Thank you. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. One of the things we picked up from the conversation that we had with the folks from Hospice and Relay a couple weeks ago, Mark, um, you may fund uh, or send money for cancer research thinking you're helping out, let's say, breast cancer in this case. And maybe uh, a treatment comes out that doesn't benefit breast cancer as much as a different kind of cancer. So, you know, this money going to um, any of these research facilities is still extremely important. Um, I guess what I've learned is cancer is, is so different uh, for everybody and and you know breast cancer for one may be different uh, than another one who has breast cancer so I guess the funding as long as it's going to research is a good thing okay. um, all right so the, the event Thursday Friday Saturday June 19th 20th 21st 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, State Highway 77 uh, that's in Blooming Valley just outside of Meadville and you can go online to register. You can go online to register. And there's so much more that I didn't even get to touch on. There's door prizes for the first 200 each day um, that have been uh, donated by our, some of our sponsors, which we have amazing sponsors. We have over 40 sponsors. And there is also um, lunch and refreshments every day from 11 to 2, which have been donated by um, various restaurants around the Meadville area, which have been am amazing, some of our finest. Excellent. And uh, folks can contact you by phone too, yes. correct? Yes. Yes. You can contact me at 814-724-5296. You can also get on the www.bvlas.com slash pink days. And uh, we are also on a site called Evite Bright. And that is also a site where you can also pre-register. Okay. Dean Oles, thank you so much thank for you. your time. Thanks. Best of luck with everything. Thank you.
All righty. And again, if uh, folks have any questions, go to the website. Uh, you can give uh, Deanna a call. She's located at Blooming Valley Landscape and Supply. It's Pink Days in Bloom, June 19th, 20th, and 21st, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thank you again for your time. Thank Best you. of luck. All right, the morning drill will continue right after this. Landscape and Supply presents Pink Days in Bloom, June 19th, 20th, and 21st to benefit the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and the Yolanda G. Barco Oncology Institute. The event will be packed with entertainment such as live bands as well as all the entertainment, demonstrations, vendor fair, door prizes, giveaways, silent auction, and more. We will also offer special pricing on items from our greenhouse and donating a portion of those sales as well. Pre-register at bvlas.com slash pinkdays to be entered to win a Campbell's Pottery vase, 724-5296 for more information. 